NBC Golf Channel on EA Sports, in association with the PGA Tour, proudly presents the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. Today, it's live opening round coverage of the Arnold Palmer Invitational. Pretty good drive here. Another straight one. That one is in the fairway, down there about 290 yards. This tournament has such a rich history. When you look at the list of multiple tournament winners here at Bay Hill, names like Ernie Els, Tom Kite, Lauren Roberts pop up. They've all won it twice. And then there's one guy who obviously stands above everyone. Yeah, Tiger Woods winning here eight times. Uh, obviously, the golf course is perfect for him, but it's the stature of the event. The Arnold Palmer Invitation has gone on for so long. It's one of the events that you look forward to. You know what the golf course is like, but also you know what's required to play well there. This is a good-looking shot. I mean, that's how the game is played, right there. Uh, he's just making it look so easy. That birdie coming up, formality. I tell you, he's setting himself up for a good weekend. Former college number one makes another birdie. And now over to the fifth. Frank, when you get out of the gates, as our featured golfer has done, with a lot of pars, steady play, what's the mindset? You've got to keep doing that, that Rich. Just maybe get a little closer to the hole, drive a little bit better, um, work on the, on, the, on the pace of the putting. Just little gains, and then all of a sudden you're going to notice a big difference in the scorecard. Good tee shot right in the short grass. Frank, what about this approach shot here at the fifth? One of the few holes where you get a short iron in your hand for that second shot, but that green slopes away at about a 45 degree angle to the right, which makes distance control paramount here at five. Frank, I think that's going in the bunker. Looks like it. You got away with one right there. Just missed that bunker. Yeah, that looked like it was sand the whole way. Frank, this would be a nice way to jumpstart the round. Yeah, his momentum uh, can quickly go in the right direction if he makes this. Player knows they're on the move with that birdie. Quick glance at the leaderboard. They can see, Frank, they're not out of it. Things are very volatile right now. Frank, the sixth is a big, brawny par five, and it can be scary as well with all of that water. And if you're a history buff, you'll remember in 1998, John Daly made 18. Beat that? Well, you're a little better than John. What's wrong with 18? If you break it down, Frank, that's actually three pars and an eagle. By my math, that's pretty good work but you got 17 other holes to play. Nice position, short grass, second shot. Not looking good, Frank. No, I think it's wet. Good news is, was able to retrieve the golf ball. Uh, yeah, on dry land, and uh, can he carry it this time, though? So this is his fourth shot after the last one found the water. It's not all over, but uh, right now, too, he's staring uh, down the barrel of a, a very bad hole. That ball is lost in the water. This is the sixth shot after that previous shot went into the water. So, Frank, he'll take a drop here. Yeah, he'll take his medicine, take his penalty shot. The hole's not over yet. Good recovery shot. Couldn't make the green, but at least he's back in flight. Played the smart shot right there. Chance to get it close here. 
Frankie's cranking it and banking it. Giant drives, a boatload of birdies. What a round. Yeah, these are the days you just dream for. Uh, we know golf's not that easy. But on a day like today, savor it and just keep going. Keep doing it. Hut drops. Now at one over par. Well, after that beast of a par 5, Frank, it is time to finesse one up on the green here at the par 3-7. Just a little under 200 yards. There's a big mound in the middle of the screen. Flags above it, and then you've got to be really precise. If it's short of it, you can use that mound as a backstop. And it was almost like that's what he wanted to do, but why would you want it to run over the back? Okay, good shot on the dance floor. Just needs to keep it steady here over the putt. Oh, I thought he had that. That is a painful bogey at the seventh hole. This would give him a bogey. In for bogey, now sitting at two over for the round. Frank, as you step to the tee here at the eighth, what are you seeing? Another hole that suits the long hitter, Rich. That bunker, just over 300 yards. The further you get down there, the shorter club you have in over the water. They'll be pretty happy with that 290-yard poke off the tee. Frank, this is a pretty good par for the eighth. What about the approach shot? Such intimidating uh, second shot here at eight. I think it's the best one on the golf course, Rich. You can see very quickly why the goal is to hit your second shots nice and high and get them to land soft. This is what you have to do with your second at eight. Superb shot. Well, that's, uh, that's as good as it's going to get. There's going to be no worries about making that one. Makes it and moves to one over. It's a consistent theme here at Bay Hill, if you can carry it 300 yards. Bay Hill always favors the longer hitter. Certainly taking the pressure off the rest of the hole. Frank, this is a position where a player is absolutely licking his chops here. Good chance to make a birdie. Yeah, this is when this game just looks like fun. Bunkers don't seem to be in play. The only thing you're really looking at right now is just the flag. No problems there. Really good approach shot. And now, good look at birdie. Back-to-back -back birdies. We'll see. Right off the edge. Uh, just a fraction softer than it might have, might have just turned in. Workman-like hole. He walks away with a par. Second round coverage coming your way tomorrow. For our entire crew, I'm Rich Lorder alongside Frank Navalo. So long for now. On EA Sports, in association with the PGA Tour, proudly presents the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. It's second round coverage of the Arnold Palmer Invitational. NBC Golf Channel on EA Sports, in association with the PGA Tour, proudly presents the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. It's second round coverage of the Arnold Palmer Invitational.
playing his second shot here at the par five. Frank couldn't ask for anything more. Uh, just the lie there, too. It is sitting up like it's teed up. Frank, tricky little third shot here at the par 5 fourth. Especially if you don't have a full number, uh, because there's just that little mound in the middle of the green. If you get on the wrong side of that, instantly you can be 30, 40 feet away. So check where the flag is. Is it front? Is it back? And then try and land it in that section. Wow, Frank, he is dialed in. Yeah, that was just some shot on that. Easy birdie. Even par currently. Solid stroke there, no sign of nerves on that. Frank, now to the fifth. What's the strategy here at this shorter par four? Well, if you want to flex your muscles, Rich, take it over that left left bunker. With a little trailing breeze, you might even get close to the green. in the fairway. Frank, really good chance from this position to make a birdie. Yeah, really the only thing he's looking at right now is the flag. Uh, this is a green light special. Oh, solid strike right in the heart of the green. Put a birdie on the card here yesterday, don't forget. Birdie try again here today. Had a nice birdie on this hole yesterday. Just a little too much juice on that birdie putt, Frank. It was bold. Very bold. You don't want to let this one get away. This is about concentration and focus at this point. Frank, that's a par. And onward we go. Frank, back in 1998, by any chance, do you remember exactly how many golf balls John Daly hit into the water at the sixth? It was half a dozen. Uh, half a box of golf balls. Well, it looks as though they're going to need to use all their strength to sort of hack it out of that rough, missing it off the tee here. Wayward from the tee, and this one is headed for the rough, Frank. Frank, this one's offline. There's rough and thick stuff over there. Frank, better than we thought it was going to be. Yeah, that looked like it was headed for that thick stuff the whole way, but uh, a little fortunate. But then I guess you're allowed that in this game. Appears to be a smart shot, Frank. Yeah, no problem here. That's going to fly all the way. Well, that's how you play the game right there. Knock it on the green and give yourself a good look at birdie. Really? This is an awkward length. Good stroke. Just came up empty. Clean this up with a tap. That's a solid par putt. Well, after that beast of a par five with all the water, take a sigh of relief and you come to the par three seventh. It still takes a good tee shot here though, Rich. Narrow entry and green's 30 yards deep. You've still really got to focus on hitting a good shot here. Well, he gave us a demonstration today why he's one of the best in the sport. Every green hit in regulation. This will be a 14 foot putt here. Well, there's an opportunity wasted. Just knocking him for a par, and let's forget about this one. Um, golf is not about perfect. 
But it's going to hurt the court. He's made it. So that is the end of the second round. I can't wait to get back at it tomorrow, Frank. We've got a great leaderboard right now, Rich. So many players in contention. Golf course is enough uh, blend of good and hard holes. Uh, really, um, it's up for grabs.